Hello and welcome to the first lecture of section 2 and in this lecture we are going to talk about the very basics of rigging and skinning in Blender and kind of the different workflows you can use. So first off we're going to talk a bit about armatures and bones. In Blender the, the rigs are called armatures and basically what they do is they are objects that contain the bones so the more bones you add, the more bones are going to be underneath the armature in the hierarchy. And in Blender, it does come with a few presets. So if you enable an add-on, which is built in, you can actually uh, use a bunch of different presets like humanoids. You can make like a human skeleton. You can make like animals and there's a bunch of different things. I think there's even a face rig. So if you want to make like a, like a human face with like a bunch of details, th that's also built in. Um, but in, in this course, we're, we're going to be using like the more, a bit more basic uh, methods. So we're not going to use any of those advanced stuff yet. And we're going to go with the single bones for now and kind of build our own rigs. But yeah, basically what bones are in Blender, they are used to move objects and rotate them. And um, usually you, you use them to rotate parts of a mesh, like when you're rigging a character, you want the arms to move or you want the fingers to bend, you know, stuff like that. But you can you can really use them for moving anything. You can move cameras, you can move uh, different objects. So th it doesn't have to be a mesh specifically, but that's the most common use for them. And when creating bones and when making a custom sort of rig, we're going to be using this method. So we're going to be extruding the bones out of out of the initial bone, I suppose. <laughs> and uh, when extruding bones from each other, they kind of create like a chain. So they stay uh, in like a hierarchy, as we can see here in this image. So they kind of end up uh, beneath each other or underneath each other. And they're gonna stay connected like this. And when it comes to skinning uh, a model, basically what I usually do is I I use the uh, vertex groups method and I manually sort of assign the vertex groups to the mesh. And you can also use the automatic uh, method, which is better for like a bit more uh, complex models. If there's like a, you have like a high poly character, for example, you want it to, you know, to kind of bend realistically like the arms and the legs and stuff. But since this is a very, we're going to be using very simple models. so. This method is best, better for that, I think. The method we're going to be using is we are going to manually assign uh, each vertex groups uh, of the mesh to specific bones. So for example, if we want uh, like the upper arm to be attached to the upper arm bone, we're only going to select those vertices of the upper arm mesh and connect those to the bone. And if you're not familiar with vertices, basically what they are is they are these th small points on the on the corners of the mesh, and uh, so basically you can attach specific vertices to specific bones, and that could be very useful if you want, you know, different bones to have influence over different parts of the mesh, and so on. And after going through the skinning process, we can actually start moving the the mesh by moving the bone, and it's going to be parented to it. And usually when working with simple or like low poly models, you don't really need to polish it that much. It's it's pretty straightforward. You just kind of assign the vertex groups and, and that's pretty much it. It just kind of works. And yeah, that's it for this very quick uh, introduction to rigging. There's still a lot more to learn about it, I'm sure. Uh, this, this just covers like the very basics of it that we're going to be using. I do hope you found it useful and I'll see you guys in the next lecture.